Hey, what's going on? So, uh, at the time of this recording, just a few hours ago, Destin, smarter every day, whatever, um, he released this video, um, which was like the second half of slow motion sound design. And this was a pretty like fun video. There wasn't a lot of talking about like science. There pretty much wasn't any science. Um, but Gordon, the guy who does the sound, who does the music and the slow motion sound design for Smarter Every Day, he talked a little bit more about like how he does stuff. But um, uh, they exploded a banana in Gordon's face. Um, and um, you know, my theory for this video is that there actually was science in it. And the science was that they did an experiment on the effectiveness of firecrackers uh, when placed into bananas. And so their experiment showed that half of the time the firecracker does not work. Um, and, you know, they, they didn't have a very big sample size or a very good controlled environment, but, you know, that was the thing. And the reason why Destin didn't mention it was because he wanted you to take the initiative yourself and be, you know, have that analytical mind and just like think about, think about it. It's my, that's my theory. Anyway, um, I slowed it down a thousand times, but in a different way than they did in the video, which was like stretching the audio file, just straight up stretching it. A lot of people in the comments asked about like, what if you took the frequency information, right? Because all sound um, can be made up of sine waves. And so it's made up of all these different frequencies. Um, and, and so you can split it up into its, its frequencies. And so what if you kept those like the same? Like what if you kept the overall frequencies the same um, and then slowed it down? And you can do that. There's plenty of software to do that. FL Studio can do that. Um, and there's a lot of different algorithms for it because it's kind of a weird process. But it, essentially, it relies on the idea of taking very small slices of the original, taking the frequency information in that slice, and then stretching that, that slice, those, all those individual slices, out by however much, um, you know, by however much you said to stretch it by, whatever the stretch factor is. And so, you know, I, I imagine that in reality it's more like nested slices so that the high frequency information and the low frequency information can get kept because if the slices are too big, then high frequency information will be lost and if the slices are too small, low frequency will be lost. And like, So it's probably nested slices, but that's the kind of idea. You take a slice, what's the frequency information there, and then you scale that. So... Um, it yields some pretty weird results. This is the original right here, okay? Right? And, um, it's actually, it, I think I might use it as a clap sound. I don't know, am I allowed to do that? I probably won't use it, but it, it sounds like a viable clap sound. This, up here, whoop, this is the slowed down using whatever algorithm FL uses to do that. Um, and you can see it looks way different. Like, that does not look like an explosion. If we uh, go ahead and stretch this out to the same length, you see those look nothing alike. So I think it does a pretty poor job of keeping the volume information intact. But um, anyway, let's just control Z that. But this is it. So yeah, um, I'll just delete that. So here it is. I'll, I'll play it and you, you'll be able to hear kind of those those slices and I said it probably is nested but it doesn't really sound like there's that much nesting going on it sounds like pretty distinct slices you'll see what I mean Okay, so I'm not going to play the whole thing here. You can download this if you want. I'll put that in the description. Um, but yeah, that's what it sounds like. And you could kind of you could kind of hear that. And if you looked at the equalizer up here, um, that just switches it to showing you the waveform. Right? Um, but if you looked at the equalizer up there, um, which is like a visual representation of all those frequencies, um, you could kind of see it shifting. Uh, and yeah. 
that's what it sounds like. I'll leave it for download. If you haven't watched his video, I don't know why you're watching this video, but if you haven't watched his video, definitely watch it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty great. Uh, and yeah, see ya.